Hey everyone, welcome back to another Saturday morning clean with me or welcome if you're new, I'm Julianne and today's the video we are going to be doing some cleaning. We're also going to be doing some Christmas decorating and we're going to be doing some cooking and baking. I really hope you enjoy today's video and if you do, make sure to give it a like. It really helps out my channel. But first we are going to be starting out in the kitchen and we're going to start out with just getting everything picked up. We're going to get the kitchen and a living area clean and then we're going to be working outside on some Christmas decorations. We have the kitchen picked up. We are going to get started on the dishes. We're going to get the clean dishes put away and then I do have a sink full of dirty dishes. I cannot wait to share with you guys how the Christmas outdoor decorations come out let me know in the comments if you guys have started decorating if you do decorations outside it was kind of a pain but we got it done want to say thank you so much for all of the love on my Christmas clean and decorate video and if you haven't seen it I will make sure to link it in the description box below that way you can go and check it out but Christmas videos are my favorite to film so I always love when you guys enjoy them too and they're honestly some of my favorite videos to watch here on YouTube pan was pretty dirty and I was looking for my pink stuff to try to clean off the excess on there that I think is burnt on there. I wasn't able to find it. I did just keep scrubbing it for a while and it looks much better now but if you all know how to get it cleaned better leave me a comment. So now we're going to get the sink cleaned down. I am just using the Dawn dish soap and I'm going to use my Scrub Daddy sponge. I did mention in my last video that they are going to be changing out our main flooring. So that means that probably sometime in January we are going to have to move out of our house for nine days while they're working on it. Luckily Shay is going to be covering um, pretty much all the costs for us having to uh, go like stay in an Airbnb or wherever we're going to be staying. We haven't like found the place yet uh, this weekend. I'm going to be searching on Airbnb or looking at other places. And um, at first they had like wrote out that they like they write up a contract and everything and um, they had offered us an amount. And I think that they forget that like we are a large family. We can't just like go and stay in a hotel room. Um, they only really ever see Sophie. So when I sent the guy some of like the comps on Airbnb that I had been looking at for our family size, um, I think they realized that like we needed something a little bit bigger than what they were offering but I am thankful that they're going to be changing out our floors they did so much work this week I actually had people in my house Monday through Thursday pretty much all day and they got a lot of things fixed that came back on our inspection um, report so I am like super thankful for that I got these cookies from Target. I thought they were so cute and they would look cute in this cookie jar, but now I'm not loving how the coffee area feels like super cluttered. So once we're done with the cookies, I will be changing it back to the way that I had it before. We 
quickly going to get the table picked up. We just have some Play-Doh over here and then we're going to get it wiped down and we will be going outside to do the Christmas decorations out there, which we already had a lot of stuff and then I picked up a few more things, but I will tell you all that I realize I do not love decorating outside. I really didn't see a vision. Um, Elvis is definitely more of the decorating outside. A lot of you know that we love going to Disneyland and when I saw Lululemon was coming out with a collab with Disney, I wanted to check it out. I don't shop at Lululemon. I think I own like two things from there, but I thought maybe if I found something I loved, then I would think about getting it and I was just not impressed. I don't know what I was expecting, but I didn't love the colors. I didn't love like the large writing. There are a few like sweatshirts that I thought were cute, but um, yeah, I'm not paying that price i feel like you can find something at like a small shop or on etsy or even at like the disney store like their spirit jerseys are super cute let me know what you guys think about the blue lemon disney collab finished vacuuming we're going to get outside i did buy this little santa from target he was 50 percent off and if you all know i just love little santa so and sophie really wanted him so we had to get him and then i did buy the candy cane mickeys that you put on the walkway to get the little santa put together like i said he was 50 percent off sophie really wanted him so we had to grab him he does come with four different faces which i love that and he was pretty easy to put together I'm gonna put all the characters back here for right now. Alva's actually ends up moving them around because once I was kind of over decorating out here, I let him take over. Um, but I also did get the little Pluto this season, but I bought him like back in August. So I totally forgot about him. I got him at Walmart. Last year, some of our neighbors used these lights to light up their yards, and I thought it looked so good. I figured it would be an easy way to cover up a large portion of our yard, and it said it was 4x8 or 8x4, and y'all, it is not. They were tiny. We had to go back and get more, and it was pretty time-consuming, and I think that it looks really good, but I don't suggest doing this.
All right, so I was over the lights in the yard and decided to save the other ones for Elvis. And then I decided I was just gonna get these little Mickeys out and ready for Elvis to put in. But he basically just went ahead and took over decorating. All right, so here is how everything is coming out. I think that it looks really good. We got it all lit up and I just love how everything came together. Like I said, I did not have a vision, but Elvis brought everything together and I think it looks perfect. So I do need to mop, but we got these cookies from Costco the other day and the girls have been begging me to do these. So I decided to get a few out for Camila and Sophia. My older kids were doing something else. I actually feel like they were at the movies with my mom, um, but I was going to mop. So I wanted to give them something to do and I figured that these were not going to be that great, but actually I highly suggest picking these up. Camila loved them. Sophie, she's two, so you know, she gets over everything super fast. Um, but even Victoria, when she came home, she ended up doing a few of these cookies. She really liked them and the markers worked really well. little girls are busy over there with their cookies I am just quickly going to a mop and then you guys will see I have to clean up a cookie mess Sophie had crumbled her cookie they actually do crumble like pretty easily but I, I was impressed with how well the markers worked and the cookies actually taste like okay to get into the kids bathrooms I did just pick a few things up from home goods I just got some towels and then some soap and I'm also going to be using just decor that I have left over I got this bath mat from Target and I thought it was adorable. It has a little bit of a pink in it, but that is pretty much it for Victoria's bathroom. And then we're going to get over into the little kid's bathroom. I'm gonna take down their shower curtain. I do just have a plain white one that I switch in and out.
And of course, I get almost all the way to the end just to realize in the very beginning, I missed one of the loops. And then we just have the same towels for in here and I'm just gonna be using some of my decor that I hadn't used around my house. opening up the soap some of it came out of the top so I did need to wipe that off Another bath mat from Target. It is pink. I just thought their bath mats were adorable that they had this season. So now we're going to get into the primary bedroom, which I did just wash the sheets, so we're going to get the bed made, and then I need to wipe down the furniture and vacuum. The traveling kind, it's a known fact. Yeah, I know that.
I did just quickly want to show you guys what I've picked up so far for wrapping paper for Christmas. I got these bows from Home Goods, and then these are from Hobby Lobby. And then this wrapping paper is from Marshalls, and the green one is also from Marshalls. And then I had some pink Santa paper left over from last year. This little bag is from Target, and then everything else is going to be from Walmart. a few things that I'm going to be doing here in the bathroom but I did just clean up the other day so there's just not too much I need to do in here All right, so it is later in the evening and we're gonna be making dinner. I'm gonna be making pozole and this is Elvis's thing, favorite thing that I make. I just grab a rotisserie chicken from the store and then we get a hominy chicken broth and then you have to get the Love Victoria red sauce. It tastes the best. And then you also just shred up some of your rotisserie chicken. You throw all that into a pot. You turn it on like medium high and just stir it a few times and it's just something that is super simple i also just will cut up some avocado and onions cilantro and it's really good wash the cilantro and now I'm just going to cut some of it up the avocados were not like super ripe but they still tasted fine and then we also do eat this with some tortilla chips
came across um, somebody on TikTok making these little pastries and you just use the puff pastries and Nutella. Super easy and simple. I will be rolling out my dough next time. I wasn't sure. I couldn't remember exactly how she did this in the TikTok video. I was just kind of winging it and they still turned out really good. My kids love them. Mila is always the first one to want to help me. She loves being in the kitchen. finished putting the Nutella on and I did try to get up to the edge as much as I possibly could and then I'm going to put the second one on top and I'm going to take our Christmas cookie cutters and make some cute Christmas cutouts. an easy thing to do with your kids that they really enjoy but I didn't want to waste all of like the product because using the cookie cutters I felt like there was a lot of waste so we're gonna put the cookie cutters on one baking sheet and then the leftovers we're gonna put on another sheet because I'm not gonna be wasting it the puff pastry I think that's what it called it's called it was kind of expensive I think it was like six dollars at um, the grocery store from your mouth holding me tight saying i'm all yours but i feel in my gut it doesn't feel right i see in your eyes tell me no just cutting the excess into little pieces and honestly i just stood close to the oven and watched them because i wasn't sure how long these pieces would take to make so once they got golden brown on top i just removed them let's talk about your ex make an egg wash which is just some water with an egg and I'm going to put that on top of them Here they are out of the oven and they do go down a little bit but I will be rolling them out next time. These were so good. Everybody in my house loved them. I'm probably going to be making them again this weekend but that is pretty much it for today and I just want to say a thank you so much for being here. If you enjoy this type of content make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!